Good afternoon guys, how's everyone doing on this lovely, sunny, glorious Wednesday afternoon? I hope everyone's doing well, I hope you're all in a very good place, I hope you're in the best of health and I hope you're all doing very, very well in life. So guys, the reason why I haven't uploaded much content on my channel over the last few days is because my missus is going through something which is the worst thing that anyone in the world can ever go through. Sorry about the, um, the plane above, I'll just let that go. It's lovely out though, breathing the fresh air by the sea and having the wind in your face and not having bars up, not having someone tell you, stop, you're not allowed to go there, you're not allowed to go there. Not living in a box, not living in a cage, freedom is beautiful guys. But yeah, uh, my missus is going through the worst thing what anyone can ever go through, and that's losing someone so dearly, and that's her dad. As many of you know across my channel, he had a stroke four months ago, um, come out of hospital and went into um, an elderly people's home because he had um, the stroke caused him vascular dementia, and um, he was unmanageable at home. So um, he went into a care home, and um, yesterday, I'm sure it was yesterday, yesterday, um, so it had been the day before yesterday, early hours in the morning, he had um, the second stroke, which um, happened early hours in the, happened early hours in the morning, to be honest with you. And when the, care, the carers went to wake him up in the morning, he wouldn't wake up, and then they realised that he just had another stroke, um, which would have happened in his sleep early hours in the morning. Um, it, didn't, it didn't take his life outright, but um, luckily enough, the care home um, rang, the, rang the emergency services and they blue lighted him into um, hospital. He's currently in, in St George's Hospital in two in, um, in Atkinson Morley, which is the uh, head major brain um, injury place because it's, it's, the, it's the, best, the best unit in South West London when it comes to head and, and trauma, anything to do with trauma to all to a head. But yeah, he's had a stroke um, and it's paralysed. Um, one side of him so the first stroke he had was on the right hand side and this stroke which he had early hours in the morning yesterday um, it's affected the, uh, the left side of him and um, it's paralysed him completely all the way down to from his head to his feet um, he's not able to talk he's not able to eat he's breathing um, and the thing is his organs are all very good um, his levels did go down at one stage but his heart his lungs um, his kidneys, everything which was the, the, a major organ is very, very good and he's a very strong fighter. Um, he's worked all of his life, you know, he's 86 years of age and he didn't stop working until he was 75 volunteering. Um, but yeah, a, lo a lovely, wonderful man, it really is. And yeah, it's the worst thing that anyone can ever go through. Actually, when I went through it with my mum, you know, it completely broke me in half. Um, and as a result of losing my mum, I went completely off of my head and um, that's when, yeah, that's when all the madness started happening. And uh, I didn't care if I lived, I didn't care if I died. I, I completely lost the plot. And um, that's, as a result of that, I've got 12 years, um, six months after losing my mum. So it affects everyone differently. Um, personally, it broke me in half. There is people out there what can deal with it. Um, all I can say is, um, for someone what's losing their parents, I lost their parents. It never, the pain never goes away, never ever leaves you. But what it does is it gets easier as the years go by and you um, you you remember the good times. But yeah, Sam went down to London um, yesterday following the stroke what he had um, with all of the family and they're all sitting around the bed and they were there for him. And they've um, he's currently stable. Um, he's on a ward now. Um, but yeah, as I said, where he had the second stroke, it's... Uh, it's He's, he's on a high dependency unit too. Um, but where he's, where he's had the stroke, it's uh, completely obliterated his brain. Um, so yeah, it's called massive brain damage. That's uh, the old fashioned word for it. Um, and he's not able to talk. Um, all he's no, doing is he's moaning. So it's very worrying to, uh, to, to think, you know, is he moaning because he's in pain? Because he's on no pain relief. So although he's had this, the second stroke and he's in a very bad way um, with his health, <clears throat> he, um, his organs are all st still very well, but he's lost dramatic weight. He's he's gone down from 12 stone um, to barely seven stone now. Um, 
and it's not a very nice it's not a very nice thing you know and my missus come back broken in half um i'm gonna take her down there again tomorrow because there's, there's no time limit on it um when he can pass you know because he's had the stroke but as i said his organs are still are still well um and that's the main things what go and that's when you pass away but his organs are still well and he's a fighter um which you know that brings me on to the subject of I don't like mentioning it, but euthanasia uh, comes to mind. Um, and, you know, if it was in Switzerland or in a different country, then, you know, you, you've got a choice of, um, if, you're, if, you're, if your loved one or your, or your parents has got no quality of life and they wouldn't want to be here like that, then, you know, there's a choice in Switzerland where you can just switch off the machines and um, they give them, a, give them a, a little injection and bang, they're gone. And I think that's such a humane way to, uh, to pass, you know, I really do think think it is. But because of uh, Sam's dad, my missus' dad is in hospital, they're there to preserve lives. Um, so, you know, um, it's, it's not just not a nice situation to be in. My missus, my missus is in a very, very, very bad way because she's got no experience whatsoever with losing anyone in her direct family. Um, <clears throat> whereas I have, I've lost, you know, my mum and my dad, I've witnessed five people in my direct family pass away. I've witnessed them have the rattles. I've witnessed five people have to take their last breath in my direct family. So it's good that I've, I've got that um, experience because um, I can sh give my missus the support what she actually needs, you know, and um, because that's what you need at times like this is, is, is the support. And yeah, I'm giving her that in abundance, guys. So um, I've been doing bits and pieces, getting on with life, you know, and uh, I've done a little bit to my shed this morning, but when at times like this you can't really concentrate on nothing um and because you know at any minute of time he could be he could pass away you know um in hospital so that's why i haven't uploaded no content guys but i thought i'd uh, give everyone an update um thank you for all your kind messages and your support guys and um i'll give you i'll give you more updates as we know but um don't worry about my missus i'm here and i'm a rock and um you know she's uh, not alone Thank you very much indeed, guys. Have a great day, everyone. Peace.